it's a big deal when I can find the glosses that I don't have to fight to have the pigment come through. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to the Lipstick Swatch family. My name is Shemaine and I do lipstick swatches. If you have been with me, I want to thank you for your continued support. Today's video is going to be all about Essence. So I have the Essence Plumpin Lip Glosses that I will be swatching for you guys today. And if you don't know by now, then I am going to say that I am a huge fan of Essence. I think I do quite a bit of Essence lip gloss swatches or just Essence uh, lip products on a whole. I do have a video of the Essence Shine 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 lip gloss that I did like probably a year ago. And I recently did the Essence This Is Nude lipstick collection as well. I just love that their products are so inexpensive and I get great results with Essence and that's why I keep going back to them as well. But these are the Essence Lip Plumping Lip Glosses. There are six shades that actually come in the set and this is I believe this is a nude collection as well and that's the reason why you see a lot of like blushes and pinks and just general nude looking colors so there are four of them that are a shimmer gloss and two of them that are a regular high shine gloss and I know that I get a lot of requests to do more affordable lip swatches and I really don't mind doing these. I enjoy doing them, especially because they are, you know, easy on my pocket. But there are some great affordable products out there too. So you don't have to go and spend all your coins on high-end luxury products when you can pretty much find a comparable product for less. And I think Essence is one of those brands that you should definitely try out because I find their products to be um, quite amazing. Sometimes they're hit or misses, but then again, when if you do lose or you don't like the product, you're not losing out on a lot because they are pretty affordable. These, I got these at Ulta. I think they are about $3 or $3.99, but Ulta sometimes have some great deals. Buy one, get one 50% off. I think that was the deal with these. I'm not sure, but usually that's when I purchase my sets when there's some kind of buy one get one 50% off because of course I'm a budget shopper I want to take advantage of all those promos so yeah go on their website and you can find these there and then at the end of this video you would more or less know what shades you want to try out so just make sure you stay tuned the first shade I'm going to try is shade number one. I'm just gonna go in that order from one to six. So this is the shade XXL Charm, and it looks really pretty. It has shimmers in there as well. I'm guessing this might swatch a little bit more nude or natural looking. I don't really detect a smell, so that's awesome for those who are sensitive to smells and this is the swatch so i like the doe foot applicator i like that it gives me that grip that i need and it's firm enough to get a little bit of control from it i recently did the elf lip lacquers and i didn't like the doe foot applicators in those i just found them to be a little bit too flimsy but these are more sturdy and so I have a bit more control um, of the applicator. In case I didn't mention it, these are all lip plumping lip glosses. So first impression, I do not really feel a tingling sensation that you would normally feel with a lip plumping gloss. But what I do feel is a cooling sensation. So it's very, very subtle for a lip plumping gloss. I would say it's pretty basic, pretty simple. That's what I was expecting from this color. You do see a little bit of the shimmers in there. They are not immediately noticeable, but it's there very slightly. 
I think I notice it more in the back of my hands than I do on my lips. But this is what XXL looks like. Next shade up is shade number two, and this is called Big Softy. There is one of the Shine 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 Lip Glosses that have this very similar color. Very beautiful brown color. So this is the Hand Swatch. This one doesn't have any shimmers in there. It's just a uh, regular high shine plumping gloss. This shade definitely reminds me of the Shine 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 Gloss in So Into It. It's just a beautiful, natural color. So I ended up finding my Shine 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 Lip Gloss and you can't even see the name on it because I've used it so much. But they, they are pretty similar in color. So if you don't care for the Lip Plumping Gloss, you can always try their regular wet look shine 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 lip gloss i love this color i use it so much it's yep it's called so into you i got that right i should know because i use it so frequently that's why all the logos and everything came off but this is the shade so into you so yeah i think these shades are pretty similar and and that's probably why i like how it looks on me because it reminds me so much of this one that I love so much. Moving right along, we're halfway there. This is shade number three and this is called She Is So Extra. And this one also has some shimmer in it. The previous one did not. I like that you can actually see the colors in these when, when I swatch them as opposed to swatching clear. Like if you're giving me, if you're showing me color in the tube, I want to see color on my lips. And plain and simple, that's all I ask for. See, I like that I can see the color on my lips. I do have pigmented lips, so it's a big deal for me when I can actually see the color on my lips. I usually have issues with lip glosses showing up, but I just love how I get to actually see the pink in the lip gloss. It's not swatching as a clear gloss. This one also has some shimmer in there, but you can't actually you can't actually feel the shimmers in there. So that's another important thing for me. If I'm feeling the shimmers in there, it's not gonna work because as it dries, it starts to get weird and look even weirder. So I am happy with this color. I love how it's showing up. It's beautifully subtle. Moving on to shade number four called That Big. And this is also another shimmer shade. Hmm, I like this. This is another beautiful pink shade that is actually showing up. How pretty is this lip gloss? Now this is a lip gloss that I could wear and I am certainly digging this shade. If you are too, then go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Next shade we got is shade number six and this is called Big Bang. And Big Bang doesn't have any shimmers in there. It's just a regular high shine lip plumping gloss. Big Bang definitely came through with a bang. This color is gorgeous. I don't care what you say. I love this color. I love this color. So far, I am so impressed. 
with the shades these are literally colors that you can wear on a day-to-day -day basis and it wouldn't clash with your outfit just because they are so they're so beautiful and natural looking they just give your lips an extra flush of color they're not bold colors but just a flush that's just a kiss of color i don't even have to try too hard with these they're just they're just doing their thing i just have to put them on and they do what they do they make your lips look juicy and juicier And lastly, but not leastly, we have shade number seven. This is called So Heavy, and this is also a shimmer shade. It's looking like a darker berry than the one I previously did. So I am also excited to try this color. Quick hand swatch. Oh, it is. Yes look at that I am also feeling myself in this shade I love it now I would say it's a tad darker version of Big Bang because this is also a berry tone and then this one's like a deeper berry tone that's also sexy and fun at the same time this shade might still be a little too loud for those of you who don't like too much color in your lip glosses to be honest this one might still be a little bit too loud for you but i think it's a great balance it's not i mean on my skin tone i guess so on my skin tone it doesn't come off as as bright or bold looking Whereas if you're lighter than me, this will definitely show up as a more bold, pigmented lip gloss. But for me, I think it's perfect. But if you're not comfortable wearing something with a berry tone, you have all the other colors that you can sport because they all look really beautiful. I have nothing bad to say about this color. It's showing up on my lips. It's cute. It's sexy. It's affordable. What more can a girl ask for? Okay, so let's do a little recap of our Essence Nude Plumping Lip Glosses. So let's start off with the positives. Uh, the price, of course, number one. So these are $3.99. Sometimes you can get them on promo at Ulta for like buy one, get one 50% off. That's usually when I get mine. We're trying to budget this year. And um, if I can find products that give me the same payoff as some luxury brands, then which one do you think I would choose? So affordability is big on my list and Essence definitely gets points for affordability. As far as the packaging, it's pretty simple, pretty typical of like what you would expect from a lip gloss in that price range. I like that the doe foot applicator is pretty sturdy and it gives me enough control to get a precise application of the gloss. So that's pretty nice. As far as the scent, I couldn't detect anything specifically. It smelled pretty neutral across the board for all of them. And I don't have a cold or anything, but I really couldn't smell anything. So I would say no for scent. I mean, there's always something slight, but it's not like it's not like an overpowering scent. So I would just say no. So for those of you who are sensitive to smells, this is a big positive for you that it's not scented. Scents don't really bother me unless it's super overpowering, then that starts to become a problem. But as far as these, you're good to go for scents. So let's move on to some of the negatives. Um, these are claimed to be a plumping gloss, but I, honestly did not get like a plumping feeling from these glosses 
I am used to wearing plumping glasses and this I really got a sensation it's like a slight sensation or more of a cooling than like a plumping so it's not I wouldn't consider it like an extreme plumping glass I would consider Boxum's lip glosses their plumping lip glosses to be extreme plumping glasses because you literally feel the tingling when you put Boxum's lip glosses on but with these these are pretty subtle there is no plumping going on but what I do like is that it gives you a very smooth high shine finish which ultimately gives you the appearance of big fuller looking lips which is what most of us aspire to have so really I don't think they even needed to put to label it as a plumping gloss um, as far as the stickiness like I always say I always preach all lip glosses are sticky to some degree some will just be stickier than others as far as how it feels on my lips it has some weight on it but I felt heavier lip glosses and as far as the hair test um yeah it will stick okay it will stick to your hair but as far as how it feels on the lips it doesn't feel heavy and sticky like when I rub my lips together my lips it's easy for my lips to separate so that's what I'm actually referring to if it's hard for your lips to separate you know that's a pretty sticky and goopy lip gloss but if your lips separate pretty easily it's not that sticky it's still sticky but not that sticky so yeah overall I am extremely happy with these glasses the shade range is beautiful I think everyone can absolutely find a shade in this set that will work for them as a nude gloss. It's a big deal when I can find lip glosses that I don't have to fight to have the pigment come through. So I am super happy with these lip glosses. Definitely give them a try. I guarantee you will be happy with them. I will also try to link my other Essence videos on the Shine 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 lip gloss as well as the nude lipstick collection i'm gonna try to link those in the description if you guys are interested in checking those out but that's all i got for you guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope that you'll be able to make a more informed decision as to which color you think would suit you best but i want to thank you guys so much for watching and i will catch you in my next lipstick swatch video bye